so welcome to the noontime class. Uh, my name is Brandon, with you again for some legs and core. Before we get started, just going to read our disclaimer here. So in response to COVID-19, BSP is offering virtual fitness classes to Canadian Armed Forces members by using social media platforms with virtual fitness classes tailored to Canadian Armed Forces personnel become accessible to all. Participants who are not Canadian Armed Forces members recognize and acknowledge that their age, health status, and physical fitness level are unknown, and it is entirely up to the individual to assess their ability to participate in this class. Um, since it is preferable to consult your physician before beginning any exercise program, we invite all participants who are not Canadian Armed Forces members to consult the Get Active Questionnaire of the Canadian Society for Exercise Physiology and its reference document. If you are experiencing any pain or difficulty during the exercises presented in this video, it is recommended that you stop and consult a physician. If a calf member sustains an injury during this video, please remember to fill out ACF 98. So like I said today, we're doing some legs and core. Um, nothing too crazy, going to keep it nice and simple. Bring it back to the basics, we're going to do some Bulgarian split squats with RDL, so split squat RDLs, and then Turkish sit-ups in a Tabata fashion. So switching it a little bit, we're gonna do 30 seconds of work, 15 seconds transition, three rounds there. And then we're gonna do some stationary farmer's walks, which are basically just a loaded march with some lateral step overs, and then some hollow body holds at the end. We'll see what we have for time there, but we got a little bit of time to let people trickle in Go through there. It's hot. Make sure you have your water. Everything in this room is sticky. It's gross. So this is going to be fun. So we got another minute here to let people trickle in. Equipment today. Um, if you have a chair or something you can put your rear foot on, go ahead and grab that. And a kettlebell or a dumbbell or like a laundry jug, a rock. Pretty much anything you can hold in this front rack position um, for the step overs and the carries later. If you have a backpack that you can load up, that's perfectly fine. We're just gonna modify it for you a bit as we go through. Everything we have today is modifiable, so I will go through those as well. So once again, grab your water, grab your stuff, so your kettlebell, dumbbell, something to hold in that front rack position. I have a chair, and you can use your couch, chair or you can leave your foot on the floor and you should be good with that 10 seconds here before we get started we are going to start with a pretty thorough warm-up here um, getting our hamstrings our hips and then our calves and our ankles a lot of legs and then we'll go from there so without further ado we're going to get started so the first one here we're going to open up Pause to your chain a little bit. So we're going to start off with some inchworms today. You're just going to start standing up. Uh, feet underneath your hips. You're just going to soft bend in the leg. Push the hips back. Come down to the floor. Step out. Come back in. And come up. So that's one. Doing five as always. Close your feet out. The more full you're going to feel. That was a demo. So we're going to do five more. So hips back. Crawl yourself out, try to keep those hips nice and square. Crawl yourself back in, squeeze your hamstrings and your glutes to come back up, and repeat. So back, down, come on up. That's two. Same thing. Two to go. Squeeze those glutes and hamstrings on the way up. One more. And there we go for those ones. This is gonna be fun, I'm already sweating. So the next one, world's greatest stretch, getting both hips, flexion and extension, and then your thoracic spine. So, what you're gonna do is you're gonna pick a leg, you're gonna step on back. You're gonna get this hip as straight as possible. So you're gonna lean forward, you're gonna drive this hip straight, trying to get this hip straight. If you can't, it's perfectly fine. Front knee comes wide, should feel it right in your groin area. Whichever foot is forward, that hand is going to come behind your ear. You're going to tuck down and you're going to rotate up. Okay? 
Try to get it through your upper mid back. And we're going to do 10 here. Just nice and slow. Exhale as your elbow goes to the sky. Inhale as your elbow comes to the ground. Exaggerate your breathing if you need to so you get that pattern down. It'll come in handy later. So 10 reps here. Once you're done, switch legs, go to the other side. Same thing, one foot forward, back hip, tries to go straight, hand behind your head, rotate up. Nice and steady, just trying to open up thoracic spine. Good. Give me a couple seconds to get through that. Next up, we're going to do alternating 90-90. So you're going to go 90-90. So I'll angle off a little bit because we are going to be rotating. So you want 90 degrees in that back knee, 90 degrees in the hip, 90 degrees in that front knee. So typically, we will hold this position, but we're going to make it a little more dynamic. So what you're going to do is you're going to pin your heels into the floor, try to keep your hips Square as possible, and you're just going to rotate through. So that way you have 90, 90 again, and you're going to rotate through. You can't keep your hands on the floor if you want. I find hands up is better. We're going to go 10, so there and back is 1. So what I just did is 3, this is 4. Try to keep those hips nice and square. You should feel it straight down the side. Nice and steady. Feel it in your knee a little bit. Don't go as far down. Your knee does not have to touch the floor. Just go to where you're comfortable. After this, we're going to get your ankle and we're going to do a nice slow start. So we're going to practice our movement first before we demo. And one more. Good luck. Good. So the next one. Coming up, you're going to come into this kneeling position, one leg forward. You're going to keep your heel on the floor for this one. All you're going to do is anchor that, pull your big toe towards your heel, keeping that arch in your foot. And you're going to drive that knee over your middle toe. I'm just going to hang out here for 30 seconds. You can undulate a little bit. Forward and back. Pulse, rather. I'm just going to hang out here. About 10 seconds left, and we're going to do the other side, and then we're going to demo, let you try out each one of the exercises for the first part, and then we'll get started. Good. Go ahead and switch. Same idea. Keep that heel on the ground. Keep that arch set by pulling that big toe towards your heel. Knee goes over that middle toe. 30 seconds. Hang out here. I'm pulsing a bit. Add a little bit of movement as we go through. It'll get better as we go through as well. Maybe a little pinch as we go through, but we will fix that as we go. And boom. So there we go. So we're going to warm up with our movements. Go ahead and grab a drink of water to start. And we'll go from there. Don't you close on me. Thank you. So the next movement, the split squat RDLs, you don't need a weight. You can use one if you want, but it is not necessary, especially if you have terrible balance. So I have a chair. I'll angle this a little bit so you can see. So what you're going to do is you're going to Bring that foot onto the chair. If you're not comfortable bringing that foot to the chair, keep that foot on the ground. You basically do a stationary lunge or a split squat, as we're calling it. So foot up. So split squat already out. So you're here. You're going to go down, split squat, keeping a little bend in the knee. Go through the hip. Back leg comes up, touch the floor, come back up. That's one. 
We're going 30 seconds one leg, 30 seconds the other. So that's the first one. So we're going to try three per leg now. You can use a kettlebell if you want, or a dumbbell or some sort of weight. That's completely up to you. So we're going to do three. So once again, down, hinge forward. So keep that balance. Don't lose it like I just did. Come back up and repeat. So it's nice and slow. Down, up. If you want, you can put a target in front of you to touch. So for example, if I bring my kettlebell over, I can split squat, RDL, or I can just leave the kettlebell on the floor, split squat, use it as a target to touch. Okay? That was three on one side. We're going to do the other. Same idea. Split squat. Hinge forward. As you can see, my balance is terrible, so this is going to be great. But it'll help. Create stability in the hip, and that's what we're going for. So down. Hinge. Nice and slow. Down. Hinge nice and slow. So 30 seconds to side. Next movement is a Turkish sit-up. So this one you're going to need a dumbbell, kettlebell, something of that nature. You're going to bring it on up, lie on your back. Kettlebell's coming up, wrist is straight. You are looking at the kettlebell the entire time. Same knee comes up, opposite arm goes out. You're going to drive your heel into the floor, drive this elbow. You're going to come up under the elbow and back down. This is it. Exhaling as we come up. 30 seconds one side, 30 seconds the other. You want to keep that arm nice and straight overhead and you want to look at that kettlebell the entire time. If you take your eyes off of it, rather, you're going to get a little distracted and that's when it can start to wander and that's not what we want. Okay? Take the next 30 seconds, play around with it a little bit, grab a drink. At the 20 second mark, I will start our timer, and then we will start. We got three, perfect, you're gonna have a great time. You're gonna sweat at least. It's all good. Timer here, so 30 seconds of work. We're actually going 15 seconds transition, so two to one, work to rest. Use the kettlebell if you want, completely up to you. I'm gonna angle this a little bit more so you can see my legs. I'm going to do the first one without. As we go through. So, 10 second timer is on. Getting your stance. Starting in 3, 2, 1, go. So, down, breathe out on the way up. Hinge, touch, back up. Down, up. Hinge, back up. So, you're squeezing that glute right underneath the hip. Nice and steady, best you can anyways, and come up. I'm going to use this as a target. Relax, 15 seconds transition, and then we're going again for the opposite leg. It'll get better as you go, because as those muscles warm up, you're going to have a little bit more stability. Three, two, one. One, go, split squat, hinge, split squat, hinge. So you want that leg to stay relatively in the same position as you hinge, you want to move straight through the hip. Kind of like you're doing an airplane. Same idea, breathe out on the way up. And on the way down, there we go. One set of those. Now we're into our sit ups. One side will be better than the other, as you can probably see from mine. That's all good. So, starting these. Here we go. So, 30 seconds of work. Up on the elbow. Try to keep those heels in the floor. You're looking at the kettlebell the whole time. Breathing in on the way down. Air on the way up. Exaggerate your breathing if you need to. There we 
we go, and then we're going to switch sides. Turn this way so you can see. These are going to hurt over time. Fair warning. Three, two, one, go. This one really helps if you exaggerate your breathing. So out on the way up, in on the way down. You may travel a little bit as you go up. Here we go. 15 seconds and we're back to our squats. Use the kettlebell this time. Rest as needed. Two, one, here we go. Remember, hinge at the hip. Breathing in, way down, out, on the way up. Same thing, in, out. In, out. Boom, halfway through. Probably gonna feel your glutes tomorrow. Working glutes both ways. Sounds good. Three, two, one, here we go. Kettlebell doesn't have to come to the floor if you don't want it. As you can tell, I just lost tension. Go to where you come. after a while. You may already hate them. Two, one, go! Exaggerate your breathing on these ones. Make sure you are breathing. One more round of each. One more. I'm sweating. Nice and steady. One more of these. Woo. Five seconds. Two, one. Last round, split squats. Squat RDLs. They suck, but they work.
go. One round turn sit ups. Get that out of here. Five seconds. Two, one, go. One more, everybody. Take this way so you can see. One more. Here we are. Take a break. About 90 seconds. Relax. Have some water, wipe the sweat. Before we get into the next one. Good for time. That one's very simple. Foundation for each. Obviously, you can make it harder. 40 20. Still two to one. Really good, minute and 30 seconds. Still two to one, so you can do it quite a bit. You can do it with no, no rest in between. It's up to you. You can play around with it, but that's a good starting point. Especially if you've never done either of those together, it sucks. So you have 40 seconds, next one. You'll need your kettlebell again. You'll need something to step over. So we're going to do a little bit of marching, front loaded, get that side again, forward, or stationary rather, then lateral. It's up to you how heavy you go for this, depending on where your core is at, how sweaty you are, everything of that. So we still got about 30 seconds, so I'm going to demo, and we're going to do 30 seconds, no break, you're going up. You're gonna march on the spot, front loaded. When that 30 seconds flows, you're gonna step over. Nice and steady. So it's a minute isometric hold on one side. Then you're gonna switch, do the same thing on the other side. Three rounds. We'll get a 30 seconds break in between. Switch up our timings here. There you go. So set up your stuff. We'll go from there. No, that's not what I want. There we go. So grab a drink, grab some water. I believe I got the timings right with the switch. Grab your last strength, grab your kettlebell, water jug, cat, a rock, whatever you got. And we got a 10 second countdown. So loaded, four rounds, 30 seconds break. Starting in three, two, one, go. So just marching on the spot, or another farmer's walk variation. Get those knees up nice, knees parallel. Squeeze those obliques, keep that elbow high. Your kettlebell or whatever you got should be resting on your forearm and your bicep. Squeeze that shoulder blade down. And this is it for the first one. We're gonna go side to side in three, two, one, go. So you're stepping, relax. And this is it. Nice and steady. Still squeezing that core. 20 seconds, then you're gonna switch arms. 
and go back to your march. Five seconds. Switching hands, going to the march. Switch. March on the spot. Squeeze that core. Nice and simple, but it gets the basis. We got one lateral after this, and you're going to get a 30-second break, then we repeat. Focus on your breathing. Squeeze those glutes. Drive that foot in the ground as you come down. Three, two, one, switch. Lateral. So you're just stepping over. I have a parallel here. You can have a magazine. You can have blocks. You can have tape on the ground. Whatever you need to have. Thirty seconds break. I'm gonna get a heavier kettlebell. Then we go back to our original side. Into the march. Twenty seconds. Similar movement to a farmer's carry, just on the spot. Ten seconds. Five. So pick up our utensil here. Two. One. Here we go. Same thing. Make sure you're breathing. 15 seconds. If you're holding a backpack, squeeze it in your chest the whole time. Going lateral. Now, squeeze, support yourself before you step. Fifteen seconds and we're switching sides. Go back to the march. Switch sides, march. Good job, guys. Halfway through. Five seconds. Going lateral in three, two, one, step. Good job, guys. Halfway. seconds rest. We got one more round of each. Ha. Grab a drink of water if you have it. Good for time. We got one more thing after this. Ten seconds. Five seconds. So we'll pick up our utensil or object. March. Squeeze that core. As you drive your foot into the floor, squeeze your glutes. Right now. 
Halfway. Keep that steady. Keep that elbow up. Switching side for five seconds. Switch. March on the spot. Simple but effective. Got to keep that core stable the whole time. Here we go. Here we go. Grab a drink. Two minute break. And then we're going to do our final core piece. We're going to do a hollow body hold. Three minutes on the clock. I'm going to set it so it beeps every 30 seconds. So that way we know where 30 seconds is each time. And it's just going to run for three minutes. Just spending as much time in that position as you can. Break as needed. I don't expect you to go full three. If you can, great. If you need a break, do so. Got about a minute left. So for those of you that don't know what a hollow body hold is, of that. Just coming on your back. You can have bent legs or straight. You're just gonna hang out here. You can have bent legs if you want. Hands overhead is a bit harder. Just hanging out, kind of pivoting on your pelvis for that period of time. If you can't hold that position, do a plank. Just a straight up forearm plank. You can't do a forearm plank. Go from your arms. If you can't do that, go see a physician. All right, a few seconds left. We're gonna have our 10 second countdown. We're gonna start on four. And we're going to go up in three, two, one, go. And we hang out. I regret this decision already. This is going to suck. And just hang out three. That is 30 seconds. Break if needed. Spend as much time up as you can. Obviously, it's going to get harder once we get closer to that three minute mark. Don't touch your thighs because you can kind of just support yourself like this. It takes away from your core. That's a minute. Break it out however you need to. I'm going in the range of 20 on, 10 off. Just try to keep it consistent throughout. Halfway 
right through, everybody. Oh, this hurts. One minute left. Sweat in my eyes. Follow me. We're up. Oh, they roasted me. Good job, everybody. Ten seconds till the thirty-second mark. Last one. everybody. 15 seconds. Done. We are done. That sucked way more than I thought it was going to. Alright. Grab a drink. We're going to do our cool down here in a second. Get those hips, quads. Definitely get the glutes. Grab a drink whenever you're ready. We're just going to go into hurdler stretch. So what that is, one foot forward. Hands are too sweaty. You want to watch my phone? One foot forward. One leg bent to the back. Come on down. Keep that knee on the floor. Hanging out here for 30 seconds. Make sure you keep that knee on the floor because if not, you're just compensating for the lack of range. If that's the case, come to one elbow. You can do an extended arm as well. Completely up to you. Relax. Switch sides. Same thing. 30 seconds. Nice deep breaths. Try to sink into the stretch. 10 seconds left here. Relax. We're going to come up. We're going to go into that 90-90 we were in at the beginning. So 90 degrees front knee, 90 degrees hip, 90 degrees back leg. And you're just going to hinge over top of the knee. You can go shin if you want, or you can go towards your ankle, wherever you feel it. And you're just going to hang out here. Try to keep those hips nice and square. Light stretch in the hip. Before we get in to a little bit deeper, we're going to go into pigeon, change the hip angle a little bit. Five seconds here. Go ahead and rotate over. Same thing. Just push that hip back, hinge forward, try to keep your torso straight. That way you get as much out of that hip as you can. Bring both elbows to the floor if you can. If not, you can go both legs extended. It's just easier to keep yourself square down here. Good there. Gonna come up. Just hug the knee in to the chest. After this, we're going to get our hamstrings, calves, and we're going to sit in pigeon to end her off. Five 
apartments. Almost there. Switch sides. Same thing. Halfway through. Nice deep stretch. I'll be back next Thursday at 8 a.m. We're going to do a full 45 minutes of mobility, so if you want to tune in for that. There is your time next Thursday at 8. Good there. We're going to go classic hamstring, so one foot bent, one foot forward. Reach for your toes. Hang out here. Get a little lean to the side, get into the QL a little bit. Five seconds. Switch sides. Same thing. Fifteen seconds left. Gonna get our calves after this. Five seconds. Relax. So we're coming up to that kneeling position we were in at the beginning. So up into the here, keeping that arch of your foot, keep that heel on the floor, knee going over middle toe, and you're just gonna hang up here. Bring your elbow to the top part of your knee. You can add a little bit more to push, a little more gravity rather, not gravity, weight. Big thing here is make sure you keep that heel on the floor. You don't want to come off the floor because then you're just going to compensate for that lack of range. Five seconds. Switch sides. Same thing. Somebody's dropping something upstairs. It's real annoying. 10 seconds. Relax. Last one here. We're going into pigeon. So you're just going to swing a leg under, back leg goes straight. Come on down to the floor. If you can't get to the floor, stay up on your hands. If you can, bring your head right down. 30 seconds. Halfway. Gonna come up, and you're gonna swing that other leg down. there. Five seconds. And relax. There we are. That's it from me. Um, like I said, another full mobility class. 45 minutes next Thursday at 8. Obviously tune in tomorrow for Dockyards class. And enjoy your weekend. Make sure you drink some water. And enjoy.